वेलकम टू वर्ल्स अगेन इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अ वीडियो ऑन यूजेस ऑफ टेंसेस हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द यूजेस ऑफ प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट प्रोग्रेसिव और कंटिन्यूस टेंस हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट दैट वॉट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस और प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस and what are the uses of it as well as how the affirmative negative and questions are formed in this tense so this is we can say the lesson plan now i come to the first point that what is the structure of present perfect continuous tense or we can say formula or we can say structure of present perfect continuous tense now the title itself in indicate it is perfect and it is continuous so it is just the combination of two tenses so here is the structure or form or we can say formula of the tense first comes yes and yes stands for the subject of the sentence or we can say doer of the uh, uh, sentence so subject comes first then then comes have oblique has so if the subject is third person singular that means he she it or uh, the name of the person place or thing it takes has otherwise in you know, a uh, first person singular plural second person singular plural and third person plural we use have so subject plus have oblique has then comes been then he he stands for verb here you have to remember that the verb should be in the in uh, should be in the infinitive form or we can say the uh, uh, root or stem of the verb then this verb takes ing so this is the structure of present perfect continuous or progressive tense here one thing we have to remember that this tense is the combination of past and present so this is very interesting to uh, know about this tense because the action has already started in the past and it still is continue so in short we can we can say that action in the past have something to do with the present this is very important or we can say the main focus of this sentence is not on the result that is present perfect but on the action of the subject is very important not result is important but the action is important i would like to give you such examples for example when action beginning in the past and still the action is continuing again i would like to uh, say that focus is on action and this focus sometime is shown by the word word since which indicates the point of time or for uh, which indicates the period of time the main aim of this video is to know about when we use since and when we use for because there are certain rules in english grammar so after uh, watching this video carefully i hope that you will never forget to remember that when since is used and when for is used now see the examples when i say i have been waiting for you since 5 o'clock so here since indicates the point of time but when i say i, ha I have been waiting for you for 3 hours it means it indicates period of time okay or uh, when i say i have been uh, teaching english since 1989 
so here again since indicates the point of time so being the student of english you should be familiar with this term that when we use since and when we use for because for the foreign learners it creates problems so now let us know about the proper uses of since and for here uh, sometime the point of the, uh, the words in a lot of english grammar grammar book the, these words are used that is point of time and period of time but my friends still it confuse so how to remember it let's have to uh, see in this video that simply you remember that when the answer is about when when we have to use since or i would like to focus your attention on, on the words which indicates the time so when we describe the name of days now i come to the first that when we use since or we say uses of since when we use since when you describe the name of days for example i have been working here since monday not for monday because monday is a name of day and when name of day is used we have to use since or name of month when i say i have been working uh, here since january since may since april all of these are the names of uh, month so we have to use since and not for when we uh, indicate the name of season for example i have been working here since winter since autumn since summer so summer uh, winter or autumn these are the names of seasons so we have to use since and not for we have to use uh, since when we refer the names of festival for example i have been working here here since christmas since holi since diwali etc so christmas pongal or uh, diwali or holi these are the names of festivals so we have to use since and not for when it is, when there is a reference of names of events for example if i say i have been uh, working here since i married since i married so marriage is the name of the event and so i have to use here since and not for then there are certain stages of life just like childhood youth old age these are the stages of life and when the stages of life uh, is described to indicate time we have to use since and not for uh, when i say i have been working here since my childhood so my childhood is a stage of life and so we have to use since and not for when we uh, um, refer year the specific year for example i have been teaching english since 1989 so 1989 is a year so i have to use since and not for or sometime to describe the time we uh, we refer the parts of the day just like morning afternoon evening night so all of these words takes since and not for the same example i would like to quote here i have been working here uh, i have been working here since morning since afternoon since evening okay so these are the parts of the day and when we refer parts of the day we have to use since or uh, uh, to refer the time sometime we use the word 
a die dash o clock am or pm whatever it may be so here again we have to use since and not for for example i have been working here since 8 pm since 9 p uh, 9 am since uh, 7 7 o'clock like this so here again we have to use since and not for or whenever there is a reference of yesterday last week last month last year again we have to use the word since for example i have been working here uh, uh, since last year so to describe the time word last year is used and so i have to use here uh, since in short that is why I, I said in short that when time refers when we have to use since. In the other cases for when the reference is or the meaning is how long then we have to use for and not since. When the sense is how long for example number of days. For example, I have been learning English. I have been learning English for two days. For two days, not since two days. Because here day describes the number of days and not the name of the day. Just like Sunday, Monday, etc. So when number of days are uh, referred, we have to use for. Or same is about number of months. For example, I have been learning English for two months or for two weeks or for five hours, okay, for 30 minutes, one decade like this. So here uh, number of month, number of week, number of minutes, number of decade. What is decade? Decade means 10 years or centuries means 100 years. For example, people have been learning English for three uh, centuries. Okay, because the individual cannot, uh, is not, uh, we cannot say, I have been learning English uh, for uh, three centuries because human lifespan is not more than 100 years. That is why I, I say, people have been learning English for three centuries. When there is a reference of a while, a moment, a long time, we have to use uh, for instead of since. For example, we have to say, I have been learning English for a long time, or I have been learning English for a while, or I have been working for a moment. And I hope now the uh, terms are clear to use when to use since and when to use for. Now I come to the second point that is when uh, uh, present perfect continuous or progressive tense is used. This is the second use that the actions recently completed, action recently completed, uh, we have to use these tense. Here the focus is on the action and not result. For example, when I say she has been watching too many videos, it means it was too much time she devoted. Okay. Now as far as the uh, affirmative sentences are concerned, so I would like to give you certain examples related to the affirmative sentences in this tense. For example, I have been playing cricket. I have been playing. See the structure is the same, same here. Or you have been playing cricket, but she has been playing cricket. Or she has been playing cricket. Or uh, Megraj has been playing cricket. Because instead of pronoun, I used here noun. That is Megraj. Or when uh, in the negative sentence, only we have to add not before been the structure is same here here only we have to add the word not for example i have not playing cricket 
or you have not been playing cricket or he has not been playing cricket or megraj has not been playing cricket so here are the affirmative sentence and the negative sentence how when to use not or where to use not i think you are familiar with it now in the question you have to take this uh, auxiliary verb this is the primary auxiliary you have to take it first and the structure is changed we have to use auxiliary verb first then comes the subject then comes been then club then comes uh, verb plus ing and finally the complement for example the same sentence uh, uh, we can turn it into the question for example have i been playing cricket or have you been playing cricket or has he been playing cricket has megraj uh, been playing cricket like this so this is about the present perfect continuous tense i hope that you like this video and to this video in your day to day conversation uh, you have to remember the uses of since and for i hope you liked and enjoyed this video thank you to spare time with me